Behold, the brand new border control post at Portsmouth International Port. Built to carry out safety checks on food and plant imports starting next month, there's just one problem. Many of those checks are no longer needed, making this a £24 million Brexit white elephant. No, none, none of this is going to be used. None of, um, it. None of it, no. Um, it's huge. Half of this building um, will be mothballed. I mean, the whole building has been mothballed for the last two years. Owned by Portsmouth City Council, the port put in £7 million of council taxpayers' money to meet government specifications set out three years ago that have changed five times since. With fewer checks required, it's likely to run at an unsustainable loss, meaning the cheapest option may be to knock it down. We have to look to the future around what strategically is the best way to uh, minimise the impact to the port and to the council. So, you know, that could be anything from building another border control post, but much smaller than this facility, and looking to find commercial ways to get income in either through this facility or demolish this facility through the operational land itself. Fewer border checks should be good news for importers, but delays and indecision have come at a cost. This place was built to be able to check up to 80 truckloads of food a day, but now the government's cut the number of border checks, that could be as few as five, which means half of these bays will never be used. And it's not just here in Portsmouth. Privately run ports across the country have built facilities they no longer need, spending money they can't recover to provide border checks that might not be commercially viable. The largest new border control post has been built at Sevington, 20 miles inland from Dover. If Portsmouth Port can't viably run safety checks, it could be the only significant south coast route for food imports. We just can't afford to keep port health people here all day, every day, to, to do those examinations. Then everything will have to come through Dover. And that's enormously risky for this country, because if the Calais to Dover route is then closed for some reason, industrial action or whatever, than the whole country. Its food is, is, is at ransom. The government says it's spent £200 million on new border posts and ports are free to use spare capacity as they wish. Portsmouth Council would prefer its money back. Paul Kelso, Sky News in Portsmouth.